Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Pocahontas. Now it seems, now, I've been watching Pocahontas for quite some time. And we all know that she is followed by the winds. There's always some kind of leaves following her in some kind of way. Now I'm, just, now I'm going to find out who that spirit is that's guiding her. No, not Grandmother Willow. The leaves. The leaves symbolizes what she does. The wind always seems to give her some hope, wisdom, and gives her the, the, gives her the chance to carry on, help John Smith, and more. She goes where the wind takes her. Her fa- her, they always said. Today, I'm going to discuss how this, who is this wind, and why does it always follow Pocahontas, and who it, and who is this wind. Now, I can think of a lot of things of what wind could possibly be. Some say it's Pocahontas' mother. But, there's more to it than people think. Maybe. Could it be Gale? Now, we all know that Gale is basically a wind spirit uh, in Frozen 2. But, as a spirit for... As in, in Norway, we don't really know if she can cross paths with other Disney characters, or if she can go into different areas as well. We only know that she's in Norway, and not only that, she's in part of the forest. So is it possible that Gale could leave her area and tell her people to guide them? It seems like that's what a spirit job would be, and not only that, people say exactly in, within the movie that they're spirits in the wind. So, who knows? Now, it seems like, um, Pocahontas, with the wind, it seems like it's always with her. In every scene we see her in, the wind is always present. In the beginning, sometimes when she's singing, when she needs to listen... You can definitely hear that the wind is there. Even in the sequel... The wind is definitely present. So, this is just the thought I had. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this wind is Gale that's fo- that's that's following Pocahontas, or do you think Gale could be Pocahontas' mother? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, of course, we know that Olaf just kind of made up the name Gale. So, who knows? Maybe the wind. Or the wind spirit of what these are only two had a different name. Well, tell me your thoughts and comments down below, and we'll see you next time. And be sure to ring that bell and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.